So as of 16 hours ago, Twitter made yet again another terrible decision to uh, restrict free access to their API, which largely affects a lot of bot accounts on Twitter, whether or not you actually like gimmick bot accounts on Twitter or not. I think this is one of few of the major like social media websites to actually charge access to their API. From my very limited knowledge of it, I'm pretty sure this, you know, leads to like integrations with apps or, you know, bots that can be made on Twitter and are actually supported by Twitter with the automated tag. Just wanted to talk about uh, a couple Twitter bots that I actually made. And while we're on the topic, uh, talk about some generators that I made on perchance.org just because it's uh, it's fun. You know, why not? Let me let me yap. OK, let me yap. I think it's really sick that tools like this are made and easily accessible for you know people like me who's not smart. I don't know how to fucking code, but sometimes I have ideas and I will definitely follow tutorials or templates to uh, make that weird idea. So yeah, if you like this video, subscribe to me. Over 7 billion people on the earth are not subscribed to my channel. So let's, uh, let's pump those numbers up. All right, so to start off, we're actually gonna look at the main Twitter bot that I made called a uh, Game News Network. This was an attempt to uh, emulate game news journalism, I guess. So this bot takes a bunch of article name templates and fills them in with uh, game names and images. So we can look at, uh, I, I have I have seven followers, so it's safe to say this, this bot was a flop. But yeah, it just posts random shit. Sometimes it can fill in uh, certain prompts like right here. If I can actually go through my notifications, uh, this is probably the highlight of Game News Network. Uh, on November 9th, it posted Ape Escape 2 is a disaster. I don't agree with this at all. Ape Escape 2 is a fantastic game, but um, we got five, we got six replies and five retweets. It's go through these uh this is this is perk laser this is my brother this one is not real clickbait okay ape escape one fanboy i love the first game but two and three are masterpieces this is pretty much uh, all the interaction this account got over like uh 1500 tweets so it will no longer be functioning in a week from now because the website i actually used uh will not work anymore since you have to pay to use the api uh, I use this website called Cheap Bots Done Quick. I don't even know how to code. I just followed like a template and filled in a bunch of my shit. So, so I actually used this website to make the main code, I guess, for the bot. It's pretty simple. It just follows a bunch of lists and you can fill in all the stuff it pulls from. So the main list is article and then link. And then this list article pretty much pulls all the other info inside of the code. I don't really get it, but you know, I follow tutorials on YouTube, so that's how I made it. After I made it on that website, I put it on Cheapbots Done Quick and set it to, let's see. Okay, yeah, and then you could choose, oh, it posts every three hours and you could actually make it reply to tweets. This will be shut down in a week from now, so a bit unfortunate. I was gonna like update this bot with the more stuff, but uh, I didn't get to do that. Uh, it's, it's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, this was a really cool website. I hope uh, I hope they revert this change to Twitter. I also made this account, which was also it, it's not as fun as the other one. I'm going to be honest. It's hourly crypto tracking with uh, two two followers. I don't even know. <laughs> it's just like a random currency icon and then like a random percentage. I don't know what the point of this was. What, what I originally wanted to do I made a list on my main Twitter called uh, Creation, and I wanted to have like a bunch of my own bots. I wanted to, I wanted to like make my own Twitter feed. So like the next bot I was gonna make that I never got around to was just like a guy with like generated takes on shit, and then I would have my own Twitter feed that I could rely on because I know that it would be solid. And then the second bot I made was a fucking crypto tracking bot. So uh, I don't I don't know why the fuck I went that direction, but um. Yeah, this isn't the first time I've made this kind of list generator before. There's actually another website that I want to show off today that I've made a couple generators in. I know it's a really vague description, but I just made like a bunch of different shit on this website. It's called perchance.org and it's basically a website where you can create and share random text generators, uh, also image. You can also like randomize images and you can do a whole bunch of different stuff with this. So the first thing I ever made on this website was a Borderlands gun creator. It has a random stock image on the top, uh, random uh, names with a, a whole bunch of different references. We got the, we got a generated red text, 
generated uh, stats down here and uh, annoyment. If you've played Borderlands, you know what that kind of thing is. Here, I made this like a couple years ago, I think. The cool thing about Perchance uh, is that you can actually view other generators and if you want like a certain part of their thing or a list that you can pull from, you can just copy it and put it into yours, which is really cool and makes it really uh, friendly to people who have no idea what they're doing, like me. So it, it looks a bit complicated, but it's really not once you like go through tutorials or look through other people's generators. Right here is the output. Now, why am I even going through this? I don't know. It's just interesting. Okay, this, I, don't, I actually don't know a lot of this because I probably copied it from another generator. But the, the main fun thing that you can do is it, it runs off of lists. So I got all these different things that I can randomly generate, like the nouns, the prefixes, bonus rolls, anointments, and custom red text, which each different one also pulls from other lists, so it's just lists on lists on lists. But this isn't even the best generator I made, so let's look at my favorite one that I made. This isn't the most recent one, and I could actually add a lot more stuff to it. So this generator uh, makes alternate universe games. So first thing we got here is Netflix Survival Evolved for the Nintendo Switch. We got Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. And uh, this one, <laughs> fucking Scooby-Doo. This one essentially just generates random uh, games that don't exist. Uh, whoa, this one's weird. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Squared Legendary Edition. For this generator, I don't know why. I just had the idea and I went ham on it for a couple days because it actually took a long ass time to make. To have all the images line up, you gotta resize them all to the same resolution. I found this website that posts like transparent game cover art, which made it a lot easier. We got Alan Wake's Dream Hacker Budokai. Oh, that's fun. Also, if you want to play around with any of these generators, I will link them down below in the description. I think this one's really great. I need to update this again sometime. So another thing you can do on this website is add plugins, which I believe I had to add the image layer plugin, which combines all the images to one layer. So here's all the different things it can generate. We got the different box art, logo, I believe, and then the character and then the background art. And I also made it uh, generate different colors, uh, different hues that it could roll. But that one's fun. I don't think we need to look at the code for any of the other ones. Let's just, uh, let's just look at some other generators that I made. So before I actually made the Game News Network bot, I made this generator and I was transferring all the data from this to the bot and I didn't get all the way. But uh, this one actually has uh, patch notes that I can generate. I think I worked on this bot for probably a week or so, just adding in a bunch of different stuff it can generate, adding rare things it can generate and uh, stuff like that. Right, so here we go, we got major update for Yakuza Kiwami 2, the penetrating patch. Featuring new collab with the Saw franchise, this is actually huge. And they added 18 new collectibles, that's great, that's great to hear. This one generates rumors, which I think is also on the Twitter bot. Yeah, just, just random shit, you know. And then we got the article, which is mostly based off of. I think somewhere along the line this generator broke, because uh, this is not supposed to be here and I have an error down here. And then it generates sales and uh, merch offers for some reason. I don't know why I got so obsessed with making this bot, but it was fun. It was fun. What made it easy was someone had a list with a bunch of game names, so I just imported that whole list. But I couldn't find an easy way to port it over to the Twitter bot stuff, so all that was like I was doing it one by one. This is a Risk of Rain bingo. Uh, pretty simple. Do all the challenges in Risk of Rain 2 to get the bingo. Not, not, not very complicated, but you know, it's just, it's just an example of all the different stuff you can do on this website. It's fun. Look, it's Ali. Yay. Look at him. Oh, he doesn't. He wants to go. Okay, go. And the last generator I want to talk about is the MF Mouse content generator, which gives you a random YouTube or VOD timestamp from either of my channels. I actually got this idea from a German website, and uh, he did a stream where I think he was playing bingo with uh, random timestamps from all of his videos and VODs, which I thought was really cool. And maybe there's an easier way to set this up, but I got it working inside of perchance.org. The only downside is I have to manually enter the fucking amount of time and all the links for every video. So it is recently updated, but if you go to it randomly and it's not updated, uh, that's why. Let's uh, let's take a look. Oh, I don't like. Uh, I don't want to watch that. Real Community Day 2022. A storm is brewing. What what could be going on at this random timestamp? At 58 minutes. Pretty fast session. 
All right, this is. I mean, this is boring. This is, if if you get a vod, it's probably boring. Let's just be honest. But what you can also do is you can either sort by only YouTube videos or only vods. Look at that. That's innovative. So yeah, if you for some reason want to watch a random timestamp of a random video of mine, uh, this website is for you and will be linked down below. So, but I think it'll be really cool in the future once it's loaded with years and years of stuff to go back and just look at something random. That hair. Holy fuck, dude. My hairline is fucked, dude. I got a DPS forehead. Alright, was this video interesting? I have no idea. I don't fucking know how to code. I just, like, made some shit on some websites. So, uh, if you want to check them out below, feel free to do that. I will link them all. If you like this video or me, please let me know. That's, that's very nice. If, if you don't like me, don't let me know. Because that won't make me feel good about myself. Thanks for watching my video, and, uh, have a great day.